Today I will show you how to set up realistic view models. I am using a view model from Sketchfab, but this applies to most view models from anywhere. I'm going to download this view model any file format works. Once you have your model downloaded, go to my Discord and install ALS Edited FE Gunkit. Once you have ALS Edited FE Gunkit installed, put it into Roblox Studio and ungroup the folders in the corresponding spots. With that done, drag Pistol inside of Starter Pack, then go to the top left Select File and import your view model. Once you have Import Preview on your screen, rename all animations to what they are so for Sketchfab Scene WEP Draw, it will be changed to Just Draw. Also uncheck things you want to use such as walk animations and reference poses. Now with your imported model go to the toolbox and search CFGK or go to my Discord and download the CFGK blank view model. Now drop down your model and get the frame position from root part and passed it into the blank view model's frame. After that, drag everything but humano drip part from blank view model into your model. Also delete animation controller from your model. Now after that delete the blink view model and rename root part inside your model to humanoid root part and use edit rig light to connect humanoid root part to the arms and fake camera. Also disable collisions for humanoid root part and any meshes inside your model. After connecting humanoid root part to the arms and fake camera, make the arms invisible and drag them back. Now rename your view model to whatever your tool is called. Just make sure you add V underscore to the start of the view model. For example, my tool is called pistol. So the view model is called V underscore pistol. Now drop down your tool and open settings to start with animations. Select the three dots and select import from Roblox. These are the animations we imported at the start. Make sure only your idle animation is set to looping and priority is action one. Publish the animation to Roblox and pass the animation ID into your tool settings. Now for the reload animation, set the priority to action 3 or 4, it will be one of them, and make sure fire animations are set to priority 2, and make sure inspect animations are also priority 4, and for every animation make sure they are not looping. Now drag your view model into view models folder under rep storage and delete the other view model and press play. Seems I made a mistake and I know the cause press control plus C and open the other view model make sure to open handle and copy the contents inside then rename a mesh part inside your view model to handle with a uppercase H or it won't work and paste the contents inside then delete the other view model.
Now you may notice you can't see the view model, or if you can it's off-centered you want to open the view model drop down and edit the offset until you get it to how you like. Once you get it to your liking, make sure the animations work if they seem off or slow go back to the animations and mess with their priorities. If you have any issues, join my Discord and ask for help under the support section.